We can never thank, tell him thank you enough. I don't know about you, but for me, ah, hey, I love Nigeria so much, and I love the peace so much because it enables me to come out, to go in, to sit down, to lie down, to eat, to sleep. <laughs> but when there is war, it will not be so. So for us, Thanksgiving is something we can never, never, never stop to do. And we say, join us, please, to praise God for our nation, to thank God for our nation, to say thank you for the peace hearing, using rivers as a point of contact to every nook and cranny of our nation. Israel, the Middle East, Ukraine, the world all over, we bring a shift of thanksgiving to say, Daddy, thank you. Thank you because it could have been worse. But we say thank you because you are in charge. You are in control. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to take over. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to laugh over us. Thank you for not allowing them to ask us, where is our God? We have the largest church auditorium, one, two, three, even up to four, self. The world all over. Nigeria is number one. So it's like, ah, where is the God they are calling upon? I want to say thank you because you do not leave us. You hear us. You help us. You energize us. And so we continually close every altar of useless blood sacrifice. Any way that the enemy wants to cause blood, bloodshed of our children, our husbands, our wife, any way, way the enemy wants to scatter our nation, we block all of such holes. Jesus' blood has already been offered. And we say that one blood is enough. That one sacrifice is enough. Not your blood, not my blood anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As the year is coming to a close, as we begin to count this to the new year, <laughs> we are in what you call Umba months for some. That is months that are dreaded, months that are fearful. But for us, as children of God, we have no fear because we know that He is in control, He is in full control. Master Jesus He is in control. He is in control, he is in full control, Master Jesus he is in control. And so, Father, continue to take control. Our hope is in you, in nothing else. Yes, we have a government. Yes, we have leaders over us. Yes, we have a country. But we say you are our all in all. Psalm 127 from verse 1 says, Except the Lord build the house. The builder build it, but in vain. Except the Lord watch over the city, the watchman watch it, but in vain. He says, it is vain for us to rise up early, eating the bread of toil. It is vain for us to talk this, talk that, talk this. It is vain for us to have development plans for 50 years, 20 years without Christ Jesus. It is an effort in futility. That is why we would always stand in the gap and intercede on behalf of our government, intercede on behalf of Israel, the Middle East, everywhere, everywhere, the world all over, to say, God, thy will be done. Thy will alone be done. Oh, teach us from our heart to say, thy will be done. Father, everywhere else, let your will be done. In the name of Jesus, in our nation, everywhere else, thy will be done. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. I want to say thank you for Mr. President that is currently on leave. In the press statements, they said while on leave, he will be reflecting on the state of the nation and all that. Father, we ask that you speak to him yourself. We ask that you overrule every other voices and speak to him yourself in a language that only him can hear and understand. Give him clear cut instructions in the name of Jesus Christ on the way forward. We ask, O oh Lord God, that raise the body, put the body together as a point of contact for you, for me, for everyone else. We pray for good health. We pray for longevity of life. We pray that we shall all fulfill our purpose in the name of Jesus. Using Nigeria as a point of contact to the nations of the world, we declare and decree that your plans and your purposes for her life will never be truncated 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your counsel alone will stand. Your counsel alone will speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so, so very much for streamlining, for making Jordan number one your radio station. <laughs> Don't touch that dial. Remain on Jordan 93.9 FM, your number one radio station. Thank you so very much for making her your number one station. Thank you so very much for keeping fit. Thank you for bringing your adverts. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasya Banovlo Mrs. International. It is an honor and a great privilege for me to bring you this word of truth anchoring this special program, Church on the Air, on Jordan 93.9 FM. My voice, your voice, and the voice. My voice, your voice, and <laughs> the very, very special voice of God. Jordan at 3.9 FM is the voice of the people and has graciously opened her doors for God's word to be heard, that you may be blessed therein. And so, Father, we use Jordan as a point of contact to pray for everyone else listening. Your family all over the world, we declare that it is well with us. Having prayed for our nation, we declare that as citizens, there shall be no hunger, no lack, no want. That you cushion all the effects of the sufferings we are experiencing. That in the nose distance time, the issue of fuel that is causing so much pain will be resolved in the name of Jesus Christ. That you cause our refineries to work. That you meet every one of us at the point of our needs. That whatsoever our hands touch, find to do, touch, it shall prosper. We shall not hunger. We shall not lack. We shall not beg. When men say there is a casting down, we shall say there is a lifting. Why? Because we are good people, good citizens, supportive of our government, being submissive, following and obeying the will of God, praying for government to do well, to excel, and to do that which is right always. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We celebrate you. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Daddy, thank you. You deserve the glory. And the honor. Lord, we lift our voice. A worship, a worship of your name. You deserve the glory, oh, yes, and the honor. Lord, we lift our voice in worship, a worship of your name. You are good. You do miracles, so uh -huh. there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Thank you so very much. It is an honor and a great privilege for us to receive your person. Thank you. We have been on a series on discipleship. He started with the question by God when he said, I gave my life for thee, my precious blood I shed. You know, it's a long one. We took it in depth. We brought a reply on our last outing. It ended with a question, what have you given to me? What will you give to me? Having left my throne in heaven, having suffered much for you, having been pierced, my hands paid for you, what do you do? What will you give me? And the reply came back to say, Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, for the 616. Take my moments and my days. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my hands 
and let them move. At the impulse of thy love, take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. It talks about the silver and the gold. It talks about will and making it dime. In essence, you accepting Christ Jesus as personal Lord and Savior, you become a disciple of Christ, surrendering all to him. What is discipleship and who is a discipleship? A disciple is someone who believes in Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And intentionally, purposely, without reserve, learns from him and strives to be more like him. Strives to be more like him. The Christians we are first called Christians in Antioch. Why? Because they were Christ-like. They were behaving like their master, Christ, Jesus. And so they said, these ones are Christians. Are you out there and you have accepted Christ Jesus as personal Lord and Savior? The next question will be is, can people look at you and say, this is a follower of Christ. This is a believer of Christ. This one is for Christ. As a result of our examples, our standard for, of living, what we display, our character, from what we see on net, even of pastors and so-called men of God, a lot of people say, ah, even I say, I know they go give my life, I know surrender. Say, ah, you were the good church, I saw you be, ah, even I saw no go. But we are here to say that, no, those are not the yastic you should follow. I was saying that you that is not showing good example, let us all begin to show good examples. Because before people will begin to want to read the Bible, it is you that say you are a Christian and they will not be reading. You are the Bible that they see. You are the word of God that they see. You are the word of God personified. You are Christ personified. So you must live and live your life and lead by example. You must be a good, good example of Christ. And all of our leaders that are out there in the corridors of power, I am yet to see anyone that went there and they, they, he said, I'm an unbeliever. We all went there and wanting Bible or whatever book, holy book you believe in, was used to swear you in. So we are all believers. The next question now is, are you exemplifying the life of the God factor that is inside of you? If yes, we'll not be hearing all the rancor, all the problem, all the misgivings. We won't be hearing them. I want to use this opportunity to salute the judiciary very, very much. In the presidential election, we did not have issue at all. Because when people were going to cut in the time pass, the process would be truncated. It's okay, elections are not, the election this, election won't hold, the election won't that. <laughs> but this time in the presidential election, everything just carry go. If you have a grievance, go to court. And the court before, it will take like four years, the person could not finish serve before they go begin to give judgment. But this one, everything was expedite, expedited. There was speedy delivery of judgment all around. Kudos to the judiciary. We want to make an appeal that let this um, goodwill of the judiciary to maintain the peace in the nation continue. In the local government elections in Rivers now, we see, I won't say a bridge who don't understand, who come here and no be judge, and no be lawyer. But you see this one say, I got a court injunction. We got court injunction. They begin to interpret. Elections should hold. Elections should not hold. It didn't say elections should not hold. You know, a lot of misinterpretations began to come in that almost would have caused a lot of bloodshed. So we salute the judiciary and we say continue with your good work and please as you did in the presidential election let's continue like that. That Whatever has been slated, if I neck have agreed and all that, let it continue. If there's any grievances, go to court. But to say hold, don't hold. Hold, don't hold. You know the thing, it gets as it be. We want to say, glory be to God who has taken control and we continue to take control. So all of our officers, we are saying here that let us all be God-fearing. From the 
presidential right down to the common man, right down to the husband, right down to the wife. Some of you will marry wife. You want to take on God and finish the woman. Is that what you uh, is that what you agreed on? Some women too. The economy is harsh. You have to stand up and shake body. You don't want to shake body. You want the man to bring everything. You want the man to die of high blood pressure. So we are saying here that all around, children too, your parents. I, I had a, a very close... Some children have, 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 have only them stopped their education while they were giving uh, money for school fees. They went and ate the money. Why do you go and use money for school fees for betting? Why do you use money for school fees to do another thing? A, an incident of recent now, a, 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 a father was giving 200000 He gave the money to his son. And before you know it, the money entered voicemail. You son, you go and carry the money and begin to do chicken. Chicken that you don't know anything about. Half of the chicken are dead. The money lost. Money that is not your own. Your father said, help me keep this money. The father was now asked, how, how do you do such? He said, the boy has never done that before. It's when he now went to the university. He's now showing a different one. If not before, you put the money in so can you go there doing business. You bring, go and bring the money and they will do. So we are, what are we saying here? Children, no, picking, no, husband, no, wife, no, uh, from up, down, no, whoever you are, let the fear of God reign supreme. Whatever you believe in, we are talking now about Christianity. We propose to be Christians and to be the leading uh, religious body in Nigeria. Nigeria is a secular state. But when you hear of the things that are happening, you begin to wonder, where is it coming from? Which Bible are they reading? Which Bible are they displaying? Why, 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 why? A lot of whys will come in. So we are saying here that a disciple is a follower. You display the characteristics of that person you are following, and you strive to be more like him. That is why the song says, More, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. More of his savingfulness. More of his love who died for us. So he said, Take my life and let it be. Consecrated Lord today, take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. These are everything you do, your words, your thoughts, your action. We all be a reflection of the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So a disciple desires. A disciple have a strong spirit of discernment to follow after the footsteps of his master. A, 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 a disciple, because of the spirit of God, now using the Christian faith as the standard to speak, because of the Holy Spirit inside of you, begin to make right decisions. A disciple is disciplined, so there will be no indiscipline. You won't be hearing talking one thing, talking another, another thing, truncating due process, um, uh, uh, disrupt, disrupting lives and properties. No. A good disciple dwells in the world. You choose the world, you live the world, you act the world, and the world is your standard for living. And a true disciple is dependent on the Holy Spirit. Dis dependent on the Holy Spirit. We shall be taking them one by one, but want to say here that as a true disciple, you must first of all desire to make sure that your life emulates emulate that standard for which God has so set for us. There is a standard. There is a standard. And that standard cuts across everything. In every sphere of life, the way you sleep, the way you eat, the way you talk, the way you move, the way you dress, everything is affected. But a lot of us say we are disciples, but we are still not yielded. We are still not surrendered. We become like uh, the fish. We should remove the fish from the water and put it on the table. We say, it will be just be dancing, dancing. It will not stay on the table. It will just be falling off all over the place. That is how some of us are. Because we are not rooted in the world, grounded in our discipleship. We are carried away by every wind of doctrine. So, 
Here, a disciple is a follower. That is where we zero on. So, the disciple follows. Are you following? How are you following? Some are following from afar off. From afar off. We are saying don't follow from afar off. Follow bumper to bumper. If you are following Jesus, bumper to bumper, there will be no room for error. There will be no room for misgivings. There will not be no room for a fall away. <laughs> I like one of our, 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 our senior mother in the Lord, Mamata. In heading one of the widows' outreach, we were together before. And when they were under our widow's outreach, she would always say, she and her mama in a by for. It's from them I heard that they would tell the widows, tie your rapper to Jesus' rapper. Tie your rapper to Jesus. So it means anywhere where Jesus they go, you they follow, bumper to bumper. Tie it. When you tie it, you tie your cloth to somebody. It means that the person moves any move you are moving. That is how to be a disciple. We are to follow bumper to bumper. Matthew 10, 10, 24 to 25. Say, be as a master. Be as a master. Then John 8, 31 says, continue in the word. We'll be coming to that later. These are aspects of the word that we'll be looking at. The place of the word in the, in the life of the disciple. We'll bring an insect in-depth teaching on the word. John 12, 28. He said, if any man serve me, he said, let him follow me. We are not talking about following. So Christ is saying here that if you are following, you know, if you are a disciple, then you must be following. You must follow bumper to bumper. That is Joel. John 12, 26. John 12, 26. If any man serve me, let him follow me. Then John 13, 15. John 13, 15 says, I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done. John 13, 15. I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done. And the disciples of Christ began to do as Christ have done, have done, living their life, talking, doing as he did while on earth. And that was how they now said, these are Christians. These are disciples of Christ. Are you out there? And you do not yet know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? The question, the answer to that question, I gave my life for you. What have you done for me? John 3.16 tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in me will not perish, will have everlasting eternal life. That is what is expected of us. God sent his only begotten son, Jesus, and gave him to us. As a free gift, when we accept Christ Jesus as personal Lord and Savior, we now begin to enjoy God's riches at Christ's expense. We now become followers of Christ. So the starting point is acceptance of that offer. <laughs> In marketing, there is an offer. You go to the market, they give you an offer. How much is this thing? They give you an offer. It is one naira. Then the minute you... Pay that one error if you agree. That means a transaction has taken place. John 14, 6, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ speaking, says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So now when you accept Christ Jesus, the invitation has been given. You now accept. How do you accept? Very simple. Christmas time is when we have the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christmas will be the exact day too. But now so church can say, just arrange and make problem with it. And this one, they do that. No, just make there be agreement. Then around April, there about the days are not static. We have the Easter period, the Easter season, when our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, went to the cross and died for you and for me. For the child of God, that period is any time, any day that you receive Christ. Can be now. This is September. You are not waiting till you no. Know. Those are just memorials. Any time, any day, the blood is available. All you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. The minute you say that prayer, your sins are forgiven. Then you get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. 
Once you get a Bible and a daily devotional, you sit and begin to study. Start with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are the Gospels talking about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then the Acts of the Apostles are there. Miracles are real. We've told you it is still available. So that is the way forward. And are you out there? You have, we have accepted Christ Jesus. We say be a true follower. Now be a disciple. Let your life radiate the teachings of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You may repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, Genova, Siaban of Love Missions International. Congratulations to you if you said that sinner's prayer. The Lord bless you, keep you, prosper you in Jesus' name. Pastor Mrs. Magdalene Osadaye is here. Pastor Magdalene would like to give you opportunity to speak while we call at the studio lines. The studio lines to call is 081 081 3771. 0813771 That means 0813771 For your comments, your contributions, your testimonies, your questions on this topic or on any other that may be troubling you if you have any. Thank you so very much. Pastor Mrs. Magdalene Osada, good, good afternoon. You are welcome. Happy Independence to you and all our fans over there. God bless Nigeria. God bless us as an individual, as a family, as a nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will all have reason to celebrate our nation, to be celebrated as well in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Because great is the faithfulness of God who has brought us so far. In this month of uh, October, the month of independence, it, it is my prayer that the Almighty God will liberate us from every form of uh, captivity, whether spiritual, whether physical, material, financial, in whichever way, whichever form. The mighty hand of God will liberate us from every form of captivity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Our God is ever faithful. He will not fail, he will not fall, he will not falter. Men can fail, but there is a God in heaven who can never fail. And as many that hold on to him, as mommy has been teaching us, hold on to God, the God that cannot fail. As a disciple, who is ever, a, a true disciple will ever be ready to follow his master. A true disciple will ever be ready to walk with his master, con re, con son, a true disciple. Is ever ready to be submissive, a true disciple, is ever willing, a true disciple, is ever ready to pay the price. He will never uh, uh, complain, he will never murmur. A true disciple will always pledge his allegiance to his uh, master and always be willing to follow his master to the end. In the book of uh, Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah chapter 1, Isaiah chapter 1, from verse 1, it tells us, Isaiah chapter 1, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16, it said, Wash you as a true disciple, God's divine instruction. For us as a true disciple to be, or already a true disciple, verse 16 say, Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes, cease to do evil. Verse 17 say, Learn to do well. God is instructing us to learn. We should learn. Go to the school on how to do what is good and what is uh, right. He said, Learn to do well. Seek judgment, relieve the Oppress, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Verse 18, say, come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Verse 19, he said, if ye be willing, if you be willing 
and now be willing as a true disciple and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. As a true disciple of God, a true disciple of, a, 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 of our dear nation, if we are willing and obedient, we say we shall eat the good of the land. If we are a true disciple, the most of the problem that we are having, God will take over. Uh, God will take over from us. We will not be struggling to solve the particular problem. But most of us, we claim to be uh, a disciple. But the price, we are finding it difficult to pay the price. The true disciple is ever ready to uh, uh, to pay the price. A true disciple is ever willing to be obedient and to uh, 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 and to obey the voice of his uh, master. A true disciple is ever ready to submit to the master. Are we ready to be a true disciple? Are we ready to pay the price? Are we ready to be loyal and be faithful to our master, the almighty God, as his dear children? Are we ready to pay the price to be a true children of God? In the book of uh, John chapter 12, John chapter 12, verse 26, he said, if any man serve me, let him follow me. Let him follow me. And where I am, dear, shall also my servants be. If any man serve me, he will my father honor. As a true disciple, we are to, uh, to be faithful in following our master. If we are serving our nation as a true uh, disciple, we will, we, will, we will be ready, we will be willing to follow through. And then he said, if we, if we are faithfully following him, if we are obediently following him, obeying him, then Almighty God will honor us. He said before, why we, are, we live an obedient life, why we live a submissive life, why we live to honor God in every aspect of our life, serving God faithfully and serving the nation faithfully. He said, why we are still on our knees praying, God himself said that, I've already heard. Most of our prayers are not heard because we are not a true disciple. Most of our prayers are being hindered because most of us we are just paying a lip eh, service to God and to our nation. After taking the oath that I pledge to the nation my, uh, Nigeria to be faithful and loyal, to defend our unity, to uphold her honor and glory, if after saying all these things, are we still willing to pay the price? to defend the cause of this nation? Are we still ready? Are we still willing and obedient to make this nation great? If we are willing and obedient, the Bible is telling us that whoever is willing and obedient to follow God and, 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 and be willing, the, the Jesus Christ said, He will my Father honor. Why such a one uh, is praying? God has already answered. He has already honored the prayer of a true disciple. It is my prayer that God Almighty will give us the grace to be a true disciple in whichever whichever religion we belong to. And I believe that in this nation especially, we are always told that Nigeria is the most religious nation of the uh, a, a, a religious nation of the world. If truly we are uh, willing and obedient, we are honoring God with all our heart, with our mouth, with our Everything that God has created us with, if we are a true disciple, most of the struggle, most of the uh, reproach, most of the corruption that we are struggling to do away with, they will no longer be there because the grace of God will be much more available for us to be a true disciple. The grace of God will be much more available to handle every uh, uh, ugly circumstances and situation in our lives in our nation, in our family as well. Let us uh, uh, try as much as possible to be a true disciple of God. None of the religion, uh, none of the religious or religious leaders uh, uh, preach uh, a violence. None of the religious leaders ever say that uh, their followers should be fighting against uh, should be fighting against one another, should hate one another. They should put, uh, they should set their their nations. Are blessed. No, all of all the uh, uh, religious, they all preach about peace and unity, peace and unity, love, security. God of heaven will help us to be 
a true uh, a true disciple of the Almighty God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we uh, 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 put the word of God into practice, as we learn according to the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 17, say learn to do well, as we learn to do well, as we learn to seek judgment, justice in every area of our life, God Almighty, he will lay his blessing upon us. Our heaven will be open and never be closed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In verse 19 of the same Isaiah chapter 1, he said, if you be willing and obedient that you shall eat the good of the land. So God has promised, uh, uh, he has promised us if only we can be a true disciple, the good of the land is no longer the problem, it's no longer the issue for God to handle if only we can be a true worshippers, a true followers, a true disciples of God. There are so many abundance in our land, but because of our sin, because uh, we, are not, we are not ready to pay the price of a true disciple. So the good of the land, God has kept it away from some of us. But today, if only we will hear the, his voice, if only we pay attention to his word, if only we are willing and obedient, the, the, that which is good that God has kept away from us, he will give us the key. He, he told the disciple, uh, one of the disciples, Peter, he said, I, Behold, I give unto you the key of the kingdom. That key is to open and not to open. So God Almighty, if only we are willing and obedient, he has made a promise that we will eat the good of the land. And he will give us the key of the kingdom. And the sky will become a starting point for us to enjoy the good land in our lives. And so shall it be in the name of God the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then, before you eat the good of the land, the Bible says, if you are willing and obedient, are you ready? Are you willing to be a true disciple? And then you cannot be a true disciple without our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in John 14, verse 6, that Jesus Christ is the way. You want to be a true disciple? Jesus Christ is the way. He is the truth, and he is the life to the Almighty God, to his kingdom. Are you ready and willing to... Uh, to surrender your life to Christ. If you are ready, simply say this uh, prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus please have mercy, have on, mercy me on me and forgive me my, and forgive sin. me my sin. Thank you. As you have done so, get a Bible and get a daily devotional that will make you to draw closer to God on a daily basis and your life will never be the same again. And you also need a Bible believing church and you need a pastor that will be able to teach you about the, uh, about the kingdom principle so that you will not have a reason to go back to the world where you are coming from so that your life will be transformed on a daily basis. And as you do so, your life will never be the same again. And you never regret that you surrender your life to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you very much and God bless. Amen and amen. Thank you so very much. That was Pastor Mrs. Magdalene Osadaye. Adding her voice to the word of truth. 081-3771-8319. 081-3771-8319. Is the studio line to call for Jordan 93.9 FM. We have a caller here, but that caller was flashing. Please don't flash. 081-3771-8319. Eight three one nine is the studio line to call for your comments, questions, contributions, questions on this topic or on any other topic. We are on discipleship. We've started a series on discipleship, looking at what it means to be a follower of Christ. Hello, hello. We can hear you loud and clear. Please call back again. We want a feedback from you. Questions, comments, contributions, testimonies. Pastor Mrs. Magdalene Osadaye added her voice by reminding us of the benefits of discipleship. She said, when you are a disciple, you eat the fruit of the land. And so, yes, the economy is harsh now. Yes, there's a lot of misgivings. Yes, there's a lot of um, hardship. But in Christ Jesus... All things are passed away. Everything will become new. God will ensure that you do not hunger, you do not lack, you do not want. 
He will show you the way forward. He will show you what to do to prosper. He will show you how to draw from a heavenly economy and not from an earthly economy. So that when men are crying, you will not be crying. You will not join them to cry. No, you will not talk as they talk. No. Instead, your language will be victorious. Why? Because you have embraced the all-victorious God. And so if you are just joining us, we are talking on discipleship. And discipleship simply defined is an exemplary lifestyle, a follower of Christ, in words, in thoughts, in deeds, and action. That brings to mind a, a slogan, WWJD. If you are a follower of Christ, WWJD will come to play for you all the time. And that simply means, what would Jesus do? In all circumstances, in all situations, you ask yourself that question, what will Jesus do? WWJD. The studio line to call. 081-3771-8319. 081-3771-8319 is the studio line to call. Pastor Magdalene, can you elaborate a bit on this issue of the individual being a Bible? When they say people don't have time now to read Bible, it's you. They are not saying you are the child of God. You are the Bible they are reading. That's a popular saying out there. What does that mean? Thank you very much, ma'am, for this question. So, as a Christian, the Bible tells us that we are the light. We are the light of the world. She says if you say you are a Christian, you become a light of the world. You are the light of the world, yes. Expected to shine in every darkness. And you are expected to shine as light. So now, as a disciple, you are just shining, shining for Jesus, shining in this dark world. Yes, Pastor Magdalene. And we are to live an exemplary life for others to see. By shining for light, you are living an exemplary lifestyle for others to see, for others to follow. And so our leaders. The husband, the wife, in all categories in the marketplace, don't say, do something. Do as I do. What are you doing? Show by example. Yes. And uh, we are told uh, that uh, people are no longer reading the Bible because uh, we are so, most of us are becoming so busy, even more than uh, God, the creator of the heaven and the earth. So we are looking at our neighbor. Say you are a Christian. So... <laughs> Uh, you go. You say you go to church, and now uh, someone match your uh, match your leg, and you are reacting negatively, and you are shouting and screaming. And then she be you go to you. You say you are a Christian, and you go to church. Whether it was a deliberate match or a, a, it was by a mistake, as a as a believer, we are not expected to react to issue negatively we have to weigh it we have to uh, to look at the the uh, uh, the uh, the reason we have to look at the reason that brought about matching someone uh, uh, and, and stepping on someone's uh, toes and then is it just to say that just to insult just to abuse or truly say it's a, it's, it was a, it was a mistake. So we have to look inwardly. That's why the Bible advises us not to not to be quick in speaking, so that we have time. We have time to weigh some circumstances, some issues that are surrounding a, a, every action that we take. So that's why the Bible says we are the light of the world because Satan has position. He's an agent to really bring trials and temptation to the true disciples so a true disciple will not just rush into judging will not just rush into concluding uh, matters concluding uh, issues a, a true disciple takes time to listen to the voice of the holy spirit and to take every step the holy spirit as a true disciple to take and whenever a true disciple take the step according to the leading of the holy spirit at the end of it or you end up giving a testimony 
There was an issue that happened in my uh, between me and uh, my neighbor. Ah, the way, way, when it happened, I said, ah, no, me, I will, uh, the way I wanted to react on my own, but I just heard the voice. Just go to, just go to her, go and approach her, explain to her how it happened. Mm, it took me time. I, I had to calm down then, listen to that still small voice that said, just go to her, approach her, explain. So I just, I took, I took that step. I went to her, explained the issue. And then at the end of the day, she was, oh, I'm so very sorry, ma, very sorry, ma. Oh, is this what belongs to you? Just take it, just take it. Ah, by the time I, uh, uh, I got back home, I discovered that I was having peace, like a river, like never before. And before taking that step to go and uh, uh, explain to her, I wanted to do it on my own way, but I was troubled. It's like within me, there was fire. There was no peace, but after taking the step of the Holy Spirit direction, and I came back home rejoicing, and I was free. And uh, today, between me and her, it's like a mother and child. So a true disciple will always listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, and you will not just jump into a conclusion of a matter. Just he will, he will always guide, because that's why we, uh, we address him as our guidance. So Holy Spirit, guys, He gives wisdom, He gives direction. The Holy Spirit did not lead us into error because it is not a spirit of a error. God of heaven will help us and make us to shine for the world to see in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you so very much, Pastor Mrs. Magdalena Sadaye, for that insight. The take home is that as a child of God, as a disciple, you are the light. Let the light shine in the darkness. And she has given us an example how a neighbor provoked her. She also reacts, but the still small voice that is now inside of you once you say the sinner's prayer cautioned her. And she went instead to speak to the lady peaceably. And today she said their relationship is like that of a mother and a child, which would not have been otherwise if she has acted contrary to the promptings of the Holy Spirit to seek the path of peace. May God give us all, you and I, the ability to listen to the Holy Spirit that is now inside of us and to do that which is right always in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are talking on discipleship. Simple. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have everlasting eternal life. God is calling you. He wants you. He wants to be a father to you. He created all, but he's not father to everybody. He's only father to those who call him father, who near him, who follow his precepts, who are like him, following his footsteps. By adhering their way of life to so his teachings, being light in the darkness. So, in discipleship, that which is inside the heart begins to show, begins to reflect. Yes, the Bible says a thing of the heart, yes. But what is inside of you is what will now begin to reflect on the outside. So a Christian disciple follows Jesus, accepts and assists in spreading the news of salvation through him. So you become dedicated, you follow, and your life and my life can never, never be the same again. As you pursue a relationship with him, he will show himself mighty and faithful. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Get the Bible. Get the daily devotional. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, Genova C. of Love Mrs. International. On Facebook, we have an account. On YouTube, over 1,200 videos loaded for you. Go like, share, subscribe. The Lord bless you. Using the Jordan family as a point of contact, the Lord keep you. May his countenance of favor and of mercy never leave us all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so very much. God bless you.